I'm Akaya. I'm Caleb. I'm Austin. Now it's time for CTS today. Last night was a great start to the academic team season. All the CHS teams placed, the math, fine arts, and interdisciplinary teams got first place. The English and social studies teams got second, and the science team placed third. High scores of the night were Carson Geesting, Sam Mills, Evan Osborne, Jordan Pyle, Claire, and Lily Burroughs. There will be a theater meeting for anyone wanting information for the mid-February auditions of Little Shop of Horrors. This meeting is targeted toward interested actors, singers, dancers, and prospective giant man-eating puppet plant eating puppeteers will meet tomorrow during SRE on the stage. It's messed up. A representative from Miami University will be at CHS on January 26th during SRE. Juniors and seniors can sign up in the guidance office if interested. There will be a student government meeting today in Mr. Horn's room, JE 115, during SRE to interview the student handbook. Anyone is welcome to attend. A federal judge has ordered the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to revisit on part of its decision to not to protect Yellowstone's National Park's bison as an endangered species. It is known that there are two genetic species of the bison that have already gone extinct due to the lack of protection. Hackers targeting the International Red Cross have stolen details of more than half a million highly vulnerable people. The humanitarian organization states it was a victim of a sophisticated cyber attack. The attackers are unknown at the the moment and their motives are equally as secretive. On this day in history in 1981, minutes after the inauguration of Ronald Reagan, 52 U.S. hostages were released from Iran after being held captive for exactly 444 days. The hostages were released after successful negotiations with Iran. Lunch for tomorrow will be chicken nuggets with seasoned fries, a whole grain dinner roll, and spiced peaches. Other options include a barbecue rib sandwich or supreme pizza. How's the snow look for the rest of the week, Toby? All right, guys, it's weather time. Looking at the rest of the day, you're gonna see the snow. It's gonna continue throughout the day. The temperatures are gonna stay in the low 20s. And as we move into the rest of the week, today, like I said, the snow is gonna continue. But as we move in tomorrow and Saturday and the weekend, uh, the snow is gonna go away. And we're gonna see the sun come out. Temperatures are going to continue to rise, but as we move back into Sunday and Monday, the temperatures are going to decrease. You're going to see a chance of snow on Sunday, and on Monday, the, the snow is going to go away. Clouds are going to come back out, and the temperature is going to rise into the 40s. That's all for the weather. Now back to the desk. Austin, what's your sports? Thanks, guys. Sports section for today is boys and girls varsity swimming away at New Palestine at 6. Girls JV and varsity basketball away at Pendleton Heights at 6 and 7.30, and boys freshman basketball at home at 6. There, are no, there is no sports action for tomorrow. And now back to the desk with birthdays. The only birthday for today is Alyssa Ackerman. There are no birthdays for tomorrow. Happy birthday.